This is Outdated, and welcome to the 28th episode of Beta Test. This will be the first episode I look at the game World of Warships Legends. This is the game preview version on Xbox One. Um, I have, interestingly, I've seen this game, uh, World of Warships or World of Warships Legends, um, on PS4, but they don't have a game preview program, so I don't know if it's a different build. Like, maybe it released there first, kind of like World of Tanks released on Xbox first back in the 360 days, and then they are beta testing it or preview programming it on Xbox, or to be honest, with my gameplay time, this thing seems to work extremely well. I'm not really sure unless it's stuff like, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? Progression stuff, uh, you know, like, you know, like how long does it take to progress? How do you feel about the loot boxes? Things like that. Maybe they're test marketing or testing that. I'm not sure because the thing runs like smooth as butter. So this is one of the ships, the Albany. So that's one of my options. It is a U.S. ship. Since, you know, Albany is, if I'm not mistaken, the capital of the state of New York. Um, this is a Japanese ship. The sh uh, I'm going to butcher this probably, but Chikuma. Uh, Chikuma. Okay, I'm trying to give you a view of all of these. And you can start with any of these. This is the British ship, the Weymouth. I like the detail. They did a really good job with these. And another British ship, the Campbelltown. This one, I think I... I got this, I think, for watching E3 on Mixer. I got some... um digital content for various games for just for watching it and, it and I think that's where this came from and then the last one the German ship Dresden yeah that that looks like a I don't know why but I think that actually looks like what you'd expect a Nazi ship to look like but either way so um this is by the same company that made World of Tanks which, um, for those of you, say, in your teens, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, right now we're kind of in the tail end of the Fortnite craze. You know, where Fortnite is the game and everybody plays the game. And to be fair, technically Minecraft is still played more, technically. <laughs> but, you know, it isn't, like, quote-unquote hot right now. It's, it's a very different crowd to play those two games, generally speaking. But before the Fortnite craze... And, and, you know, where it all blew up, you kind of had that brief PUBG craze, which, of course, is the only reason Fortnite craze exists, because, you know, Fortnite changed their game completely into a battle royale to match. Before that, though, you, you had the MOBA craze, specifically League of Legends and Dota 2. League of Legends more so than Dota 2. But before that, you had World of Tanks. And it wasn't a really long period, but it was maybe a year or so where it was a really, really hot game. Like, people were playing it like crazy. They were porting it over to Xbox 360 back in the day. And, you know, now it's on everything as World of Tanks Mercenaries. Well, they made World of Warships. And so we're going into our first match, and it's making me play against AI. Probably because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never played this before. So I have no idea what this is going to be like. So here I am. So let's talk about the HUD and what we're looking at here. So on the bottom right, you can see where there's that little column going up and down with the A at the top and the B button at the bottom. That I hit A to go faster, B to go slower. That ups my, I guess, throttle would be the word, on my ship, which builds speed. And the match is going to start in like seven seconds. Um, just to the left of that column, you'll see a number that will actually start climbing as I go. That is my speed. Now, the, to the left of that, you see a number counting down. That's me loading my ammunition. I'm now loaded. And if you see the reticle in the middle of the screen, it's that circle. Right now, it's cut into, I think, two halves. Each one of those is one cannon that could fire if I were aiming at that spot. Wherever I move my reticle, the number of 
spots, like parts of that circle, increases or decreases based on how many cannons can actually get a shot in. And if it's white, it means that is loaded and ready to go. If it's yellow, it's building up to fire. So we're going to head over here and see what we can find. Yeah, so the number of sections are the number of armed guns. That's basically what I said, but, you know, they just said it better. Wait, oh, there's some right there. Okay, so if I hit right trigger, I fire one cannon. If I double tap right trigger, I fire every cannon that's ready. I don't think I'm hitting, but... They are taking some damage. I need to. I think I'm gonna head over there and work on that side because I've got a couple guys over there already. So this AI battle is actually everybody on my team. I think is a player, and everybody on the other team is AI. Oh crud! That guy's starting to get hit pretty hard. I will say, the action's pretty intense. It's kind of cool. You know, like, whoa, that was close. And I love that whenever this hit, the enemy hits close. I can see exactly where they hit. All right, somebody's getting pounded over there. Let's see if I can help just a little bit. Oh, I just got hit from somebody over here. There they are. Alright, we gotta reload. Oh wait, there's another one moving in. Right there. Alright, let's just take them all. Okay, I did not lead those shots well at all. Did that work? Oh yeah, I think I hit that time. They're slowing down, so I'm gonna lay in them. There we go, there's some hits, yes. Some of the, some ship just blew up. Oh, full salvo right there. Sorry, coming behind, dude. Looking around for anybody on this side. So they seem to have this guy well taken care of. All right, come on, tank. All right, come on, cannons low, there we go. Almost got him. Come on, guys, let's pummel this dude and move on. Done. Sank it. Now let's head over here. Is that one of theirs? Or is that one of mine? Oh, I can't tell. I think that's one of mine. Never mind. Nope, I'm hitting my own guy, I think. Oops. Okay, now, where is that? Okay, it's on the other side of the island, and I'm not aiming right to get over the thing. Whoa, wait a minute. Something's going on. Oh, crap. Somebody's coming from the side. Wasn't ready for that. There we go. How dare you, sir? What happened? All right, the battle's over. It's a race to a certain amount of points or kills, I think. At least in that case. And we won. Yay, we beat the AI. Yay, power. Right. Um, I didn't do so hot compared to whoever that is up at the top, but I still outdid a couple of them. I can live with it. I'm learning. All right. I got to say, that was pretty fun. I've leveled up to level two. Now I can upgrade things on my ship. Well, that's good progression system is always helpful especially for a game that is basically centered around fighting and that's it there's no like there's no role playing element there's no exploration element it's just fighting you need some sort of upgrade trees here we go so targeting system mark 1 mod mod 2 yeah let's do that okay i have to hit a again to select it i guess all right there i've upgraded 
I don't really see a difference, but I'm sure that there's a difference. Still the same high explosive rounds and dam damage control party. So for a first run, I won, that's good, but I just don't know exactly what I'm doing. But we're gonna go in again. And again, we're versus AI again, players versus bots. Once again, we're going to learn the ropes here. That was pretty fun. Now, I notice I only have, um, like, cannon batteries on, artillery batteries on the top of the ship, and that's the only armaments I have. I mean, ships can usually, like, fire torpedoes and things like that, too, so... Um, heck, aircraft carriers have planes. It's even on the picture. I'm betting that comes into play at some point. It's just, you know, teaching me on the basics here. I can only imagine steering an aircraft carrier through this mess. Okay, let's skip ahead just a little bit here. Here we go. So I'm going to build up speed. Now, it looks like there are two zones here. This may be more of a capture the flag kind of thing. Where you capture the two zones. One of the zones we are already at, that is our area, the blue, and the red is theirs. Here we go. Let's build up speed. There we go, throttle up. We're all loaded and ready to go. So one thing I'm figuring out really quickly is as much as this part of it when you're just like sailing is you know some would argue boring nothing's happening at the moment in reality i'm positioning myself and my enemies are positioning themselves to set up kill zones when we come around the those islands so it seems like right now as an example it looks like i'm going to basically sail right down the middle of the map and that's probably not the smartest move now, I'm thinking against the AI, I might have it, you know, it may be okay. But against other players, I mean, I, everybody there would be able to take a pot shot at me. It's probably better to go, like, around in a more circuitous route. And I can try to hit people from a dislike where that guy is, maybe. Over there to the left, but maybe a little further. Um, all right, there's somebody already. I don't know if I'll be able to hit from here, but it doesn't hurt to give it a try. I'll reload by the time I get closer anyway. I've been spotted. So here we go. Alright, he took some damage. I just don't know if it was for me. Alright, Dresden. There we go. I need to get a better firing solution on him. I need to turn and get more cannons, but I want to get closer. There we go. And here, now I'm turning. There's a, there's a whole other ship. I probably should have stuck with the one I was working on. So let's go back to him. That was a miss. Am I aiming too high? Oh no, those hit. Alright, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up. Almost got him. I'm getting pounded, come on. He is on fire. Come on, we've almost got him. Take that. I'm moving too far away. I'm going to have a hard time keeping a... Uh, I think the others can finish him off. Or maybe I can turn this way and take him. Hey, there's another little guy. Let's work on him. That's one thing. You can't necessarily keep on your same guy, although... I probably need to work on that. Is he on the other side? Or is he hiding there on the sh... Our team has taken the lead, indeed. Let's continue to do so. Come 
on. Hit, hit, hit. Yes, yes, yes. There, that one's gone. I'm on fire. Alright, I'm on fire. Alright, hit left on the D-pad and the damage control team puts it out. While your ship is on fire, you take constant damage. That is not good. So as I turn, more cannons become available that were already loaded. And I probably should have done that earlier. I'm smart. Yeah, we're working on this guy. Come on, I'm missing though. Aimed a little lower, got him that time. Alright, come on. Oh, it's just the two of us now. Oh, there is somebody else helping. There's the remains of a ship. Hit him, let's keep pounding him. Uh, I'm at less than half health. And I'm, oh god, oops. Okay, um, did I neglect to mention I do not have a proper license to drive this thing? And it ships on fire, it's gonna be another five minutes before I can, or five, or one second before I can. Alright, damage control team, damage control team. Oh, no wonder it didn't do anything. The battle was over again. Okay. Alright, one minor complaint. I kind of wish if you ran into an island, it would actually damage the ship. Because uh, that's what would... I mean, if you're going 20 knots and slam into an island, it seems like it would tear the crap out of your boat. Alright, oh, it's opened up ship tech trees. So you can actually unlock different ships of the same class. All right, cool. Uh, that's something you need for this. Depth. Things I can work towards. Any game that is grindy in its um, gameplay style, that's the kind of thing you need. All right, let's see. And there it is. I can now get the St. Louis. Yep, the St. Louis. A cruiser. It's the same style of boat. It's just better. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely doing that. Nice. And now I have uh, high explosive rounds and armor piercing shells. So they have reload times. They have damage. And they have their range. All right. The stats are definitely higher on this bad boy. So I say we go into another um, mission, or I guess versus the AI still. So here we go. Big race. So let's capture the base. It says I like capture the flag. You basically stay there. Or actually, it's probably more like um, control point or something like that king of the hill whatever you want to call it where you i think um i would say hard point for call of duty but that they moved it around and they did that with king of the hill too so but where you go to one specific location and hold it so like control on um on um battlefield here we go with our action brand new ships. ship action stations action stations set condition one throughout the ship uh, sorry, Battlestar Galactica reference, and not the old 70s one, I mean the good one. Or more accurately, the great one. The 70s one was good when you're like five. It was actually pretty awesome when you're five. But the... what the... Is that... who's chattering? Was that another player? Well, thanks. I'm Neptune's beard. Many thanks. Okay, somebody just fired torpedoes. Those are torpedoes. Dude, dude, watch out. Dude, dude, learn to drive. Learn to drive! Requesting assistance. Set a smoke screen. Requesting support. Requesting assistance. I need I, support. Dude, you're not even in a fight yet. Shut up. We're an armada, people. 
We are, I don't know what that stutter was. I don't remember that being from in the game. Oh, there's somebody all the way over there. Somebody's decided to go ahead and shoot at them. I might as well too. Maybe I'll get lucky. There's a couple of them. Oh, we're in a zone. Oh, there comes somebody right there. And they are zipping around that. Torpedoes. Oh crap, there they are. Torpedoes, direct front. Oh, they're going after the guy next to me. Oh god, the torpedoes are devastating. The torpedoes are absolutely devastating. Too bad I don't have those. Come on, load, load, load. There we go. Oh, that was some damage. That was some serious damage. Come on, let's take this guy out. I hope you don't mind Davy Jones' locker. Oh, I think I totally missed there. Alright, come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. I hit him there. There we go, let's keep it up, keep it up. Oh, there's some damage, come on. The enemy team is taking the lead, not for long. Torpedo right pa passing right in front of me. What the? Oh crap. What's going on? Oh crap. Am I going to run right into him? I'll try to turn in time! Oof. Yes, and now let's just lay into this guy. I totally missed with that on tire salvo. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That didn't. That was a hit. Come on. Torpedoes, oh crap. Look out! Oh! One of them got me. Flooding means constant damage, too. Oh, that was a good hit. Come on, guys. We're in trouble. Okay, we're getting some hits here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We may be in trouble. Oh, God. And I am dead. I am dead. But. Okay, what do I do here? Let's. Am I sure I want to return to port? Okay, no, I don't want to do that. I have to finish out the match. So, what do I do from here? I'm sinking. Oh, I can jump and spectate other players. Okay. So, here's somebody on my team. Let's see what they're doing. him out, man. Yes, good hit, good hit. Oh, crap, somebody else is coming on you. Finish him. Didn't finish him. I'm trying to keep my reticle on the, like, keep the camera pointed at that guy so I can see his health bar. It wouldn't normally show it unless I'm pointing the thing at him. Is he going to fire again? That guy's pretty low, though. This is our last ship. We're getting the crap kicked out of us. This guy's in trouble. Hey, take down what you can, buddy. Take down who you can. Right, that was a hit. There, got him. And then we're out. So, we lost that one, but it was fun. It was definitely fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm wondering how this will play with other players. And how long it will let me get to that point. I probably have to level up to a certain point. Okay. It's unlocked standard battles fight against other players. Well, there you go. Speak of the devil. Alright. So, 
Now I can actually play against other players. I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet, but let's see. What do we have here? Containers. What's that smell? <laughs> Loot boxes. That's what this basically is. But it's just money. And resources. And I just got it from leveling up. Okay, I can live with that. I don't like the idea of... I mean, I'm betting that you can pay for this stuff too. And that I don't like. But but when the game is free to play, I guess they have to make money somehow. Uh, I'll comment more on this as I explore it more. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Beta Test and our time with World of Warships Legends. Uh, it is free if you want to check it out. Um, I will do more World of Warships Legends with the next episode. So thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Outdated. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Peace. Out.